Hello children, welcome to yellow class and you are in the session of, yes, we are in the science session and with Nandita ma'am and today we are going to see something very, very interesting, yes, so and you, we are going to make also something. Right? So, all of you are ready with your material? Yes, you have kept it near you so that when we will start it, you can quickly begin that along with me. Yes? And today, what we are going to do? We are going to learn. Yes, we will deep. We will dive deep into the See, yes, and we will check out what all animals we will see. Yes, okay. So, before we begin, let's do a listening song. Yes, right. So, let's begin. If you are listening, if you are listening. Touch your toes, touch your toes. Having done that now, having done that now, touch your nose, touch your nose. Yes. Okay, that means all of my little munchkins are actually listening to me. Yes. So, you know what we are going to do? Under the sea today, yes, we will go deep down the ocean bed and we will check few beautiful, beautiful, yes, many creatures which we found inside the ocean. Yes. So, have you ever caught a fish? Yes. Hmm? So, you know one rhyme that we have? One, two, three, four, five. Once I caught a fish alive. Yes. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then I let it go again. Why did you let it go? Because it bit my finger so. Which finger did it bite? This little finger on my right. Yes. So, have you done? You have done that rhyme earlier? Some of you might be, yes? So you can raise your hand. You can raise virtually also. You can write why in the chat box if you have done this rhyme earlier. Or if you have liked it, then also you can say yes. Once I caught the fish alive. <laughs> yes. So now what we are going to do is we'll go under the sea and I will ask you, what can you see? Under the sea. Yes. Then you have to say, I can see a whatever you see. Then you have to say that. Yes. So I will ask you, what can you see under the sea? I can see a fish. Yes. Like that you can say. Okay. Right. Okay. So I'll show you something and you have to tell me. Right here. Okay. So, what can you see in the ocean? Yes. So, this is something I have. Okay. So, what are what all things you can see here? So, you can say, I can see a fish or a lot of fishes in fact, isn't it? And you can say, what else can you see? I can see some shells also, right? And what else you can see? I can see some stones, right? And I can see some, yes, the weeds we call or we call them plants, right? Okay, so this is all that you can see, right? Okay, so then let's bring in some more animals. So these are only fishes which are there inside it. Yes, 
so let's bring in some more animals into this so let's begin the fish in the ocean go gulp 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 and see what i have for you so you know what is the name of this fish this fish name is clown fish see here so this is a clown fish so fish in the ocean go gulp 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 fish in the ocean go gulp 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 all day long yes okay so let's bring in somebody else one more we have and we have yes cracky the crab so the crabs on the crocs go pinch 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 the crabs on the crocs go pinch 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 all day long yes and do you know one thing how the crab walks the crab always walks sideways yes okay so the crabs on the rocks go pinch 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 and then let's bring in one more then comes the an animal which has so many arms what is it it is an octopus yes so octopus in the ocean have eight long arms eight long arms eight long arms octopus in the ocean have eight long arms waving all day long yes it go it does squibble 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 yes and here comes my little pink octopus yes and then we will come to join them in the group oh jellyfish yes so jelly in the ocean go wobble 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 jelly in the ocean go wobble 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 all day long yes so this comes my jellyfish okay so let us put it see okay so here comes our jellyfish and then who is left i have one more which looks like a star and it is a starfish see starfish so starfish in the ocean go twinkle 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 starfish in the ocean go twinkle 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 all day long waves in the ocean go up and down up and down up and down up and down waves in the ocean go up and down all day long yes so see there are so many animals are there in the ocean isn't it so let us do you know something about them yes so first we have seen their names right so can you tell me again this is a clownfish very good what is this it looks like a star so it is a starfish then comes the cracky the crab then this is ali the octopus right and this is jammy the jellyfish right okay and there will be few more about which we are going to learn today so let's go to the presentation yes and see something more about them so now let's go and check out some more important things about these yes animals which live under the ocean right 
for this i will be sharing my presentation so that you can see and okay so it's a very beautiful picture yes you can see so many fishes swimming yes and you know what i have written at the top i have written aquatic animals so what do we mean by that aquatic yes so it has word aqua in this which means water so say along with me aquatic animals aquatic yes say one more time aquatic very good so these are aquatic animals yes so you will just practice it some more time then you will be comfortable saying this so see what are aquatic animals these are the animals which live in the water yes simple so the animals which live in the water are called aquatic animals yes so like we have seen earlier there are so many small small fishes right in the water so they can have many beautiful colors yes and the small small fishes they usually live in ponds rivers or oceans right so these are quite small small and they are many in number then comes our dolphin yes so have you ever been able to see some yes some tricks that dolphin usually yes usually does so there are a lot of dolphin shows also which happens and you know why because dolphin is very very friendly and it is very intelligent also so by getting a training or by giving a training to dolphins they can actually do lot of yes they can do lot of activities they can do lot of action they can show lot of yes fun in the water so it's really really very mesmerizing to watch that and they are our national aquatic animal yes and the one more thing is they really like to create a lot of sounds yes like a sound of a whistle click click like that okay and they also like to blow bubbles bubbly 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 okay so let's revise again dolphins they are our national aquatic animal they are very friendly and intelligent they like to blow bubbles 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 and they also make lot of sounds like whistle click click like that okay let's check out what next next is something we have a whale you know it is so humongous okay humongous means very 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 big right so that's why it is the largest animal on earth yes on our planet this is the largest animal and it could be as heavy as 24 elephants yes 2 4 24 so you can imagine it it can it could be so big and so heavy and few whales they sing this they sing by making various sounds yes so the most important thing is they are the largest animal on earth and they are very very heavy in weight then comes our clownfish so by looking at it can you remember in which movie you have seen this oh great that i think most of you are saying it nemo yes this is my nemo okay so basically in the movie that in the finding a nemo it was a clownfish only right and after that it became very very popular so what is so unique about it is it is always an orange color and it has three white stripes yes as you can see in that the three white lines it is having yes the band it is having and it has have a it has a black outline yes and the black tips around its fins also so it is very small in size and it is found in coral coral reef they are found in coral reef in some of the countries and they are not considered as good swimmers yes okay right 
So more, it is all about that it is very small in size and they are orange in color with white bands. Yes, and not a good swimmer. They are not a good swimmers. Okay, then let's see who's this. It has eight arms. Can you tell me that it is a octopus? Yes. So here, oct means eight. Okay. Eight, number eight. So basically it has these eight arms. And you know some interesting facts if I tell you. It has three hearts, right? It has three hearts. It has nine brains. And the color of its blood is not red. Yes, red is the color of our blood. But it's the blood of a, the color of octopus blood is blue. Yes, it is blue in color. But the octopus are very, very intelligent creatures. Yes, they are super duper intelligent. And they really are very amazing in hiding themselves or in or in trying to or trying to escape from their enemies. Yes, they are very, very clever in hiding themselves. Okay. So just remember they have eight arms. And the blood, the color of their blood is blue. Yes. Okay. Then let's see who is this. It is my jammy the jelly. And see, its head, what it resembles like or what it looks like. It looks like a, yes, a round cap. Okay. And then also it looks like an umbrella. Isn't it? Like a small umbrella. And the jellyfish is not a fish at all. Yes, it is not considered as a fish. But it is made up of 95% water. Okay. It has no heart, no blood, no eyes, no bones. And even no brain. But few of them can glow in the dark. Okay. They can glow in the dark dark right so these are the jellyfishes then comes our who is this starfish see okay so starfish is also not a fish and it has how many arms one two three four five so it has five arms and each of these arms are having an eye okay they are having an eye at the tip of it, right? And they like, they live in salt waters and they are also called as sea stars. Yes, because they are available, they live in the sea. So they are also called as sea stars, right? So what about starfish? We know it has five arms and it has an eye at the, at the tip of each arm. Yes. And it lives in salt water. Okay. Right. Now who will come? Oh, see here how it is moving. Crab. Crab with the crab. See, so fast, so fast, so fast. Can you recognize what's so unique about it? Huh? How it is different? How it is moving? Yes. So the crab always moves sideways, sideways, sideways. Yes. Left to right right to left left to right right to left yes okay and they have 10 limbs right 10 limbs so four at the back on both the sides which they use for moving and the two are those clamp 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 okay or the claws yes which do clamp 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 sound we say so two are the claws and the rest, four and four on each side are used for walking sideways, right? And the crabs can live both in water and on land also. Yes, so crab can live in water and on land also. And they have how many limbs? Ten limbs, correct. And the most important thing is they always walk sideways. Right. 
so this is what we have seen about various animals yes ocean animals which live deep into the sea but they are so amazing isn't it yes so do you remember what all we have done right their characteristics do you remember all of them okay so shall we do our poles then we can do a craft and we will do we will make a fish okay right okay so everybody is saying okay that's so nice okay we will move on right so if you want you can take a sip of a water so that we can move ahead right okay so ready for the first question great so here comes your first question on your screen which sea animal can glow in dark is it a option a is starfish option b is jellyfish hmm glow in the dark yes a starfish or b jellyfish just just think 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 which can glow glow yes that's great okay answers have started coming in quite good so just all of you yes select the option so the first is starfish okay it starts with letter s and option b is jellyfish it starts with letter j okay well great lot of good responses coming in and so let's check the answer answer for this is option b jellyfish right jellyfish some of them can glow in dark also right okay so let's go to the next one okay so here comes the next question which is our national aquatic animal option a is dolphin option b clownfish hmm okay so don't get confused with the popularity of it but yes great okay quite makes responses coming in for this okay right let's see let's see few more will come and then we can right okay great yes definitely okay children do it yes yes okay take a little bit time it's okay great so almost everybody has answered so the answer for this is option a dolphin right dolphin is our national aquatic animal okay so let's check out the next one i think for this everyone is going to yes select the answer it correctly right but options are a little bit confusing so let's see here comes the next question which is the largest animal on earth option a whale or option b shark yes for this we have hmm i told you something about that also it is quite heavy also right so what is that great okay so let's check the answer now so the answer for this is option a whale yes okay so the whale is very very heavy and this is the largest animal on earth and you know something about shark shall i tell you sharks they have rows and rows of teeth yes like we have in our mouth in our jaw only one row of teeth right so like one row but for the shark what happens first row then again one more row of teeth then again more one row of teeth yes so they are quite deadly we call them <laughs> right okay so let's move on to the next one okay that is also quite easy now okay so just check the question on your screen now which animal has eyes at the tip of the arm option a octopus 
option b starfish yes so both have the arms but which has an eye on the tip of their arm hmm okay so both looks cute yes is it so octopus and starfish both looks cute to all of you <laughs> okay great let's see the answer so the answer for this is option b starfish yes the starfish it has five arms and each on each arm there is an eye at the tip of its arm right okay so few more all set all charged up or you are a little bit feeling low yes okay so are you listening say yes i am okay that's like my children great okay so let's go to the next one here it comes which animal lives in in water and on land both option a jellyfish option b crab hmm yes okay quite fast in this flooded with answer that's great okay keep it up hmm. everybody good so almost everybody has answered right done okay fine let's check out the answer now answer for this is option b crab yes so crab lives in water and on land both and it walks always sideways right it has 10 limbs okay so next uh, is something very very interesting right okay so let's see that here comes the next question now which animal's blood is blue in color option a whale or option b octopus Hmm. I told you to remember that. Yes, when we over on that animal, ha. Huh. And okay, I will give you a hint. They are very, very intelligent creatures. Hmm, very intelligent. They can quickly hide themselves or fool their enemies. Hmm. And you know they release a black ink also when they are frightened or they are scared of some. danger or they sense some danger okay great so let's check the answer now the answer for this is option b octopus good going so let's do the last one last question of the day what do you say already okay that's the spirit so let's see here comes the last question i am not a good swimmer who am i option a clownfish or option b dolphin mm -hmm. so uh, it is an easy one isn't it for dolphin or for a clownfish yes what you are going to say let's see the moment all of you all answer we can see that which is the majority right Okay. It's a little bit confused on this question. Yes. Right. Okay. Then check the. Let's check the answer. Hmm. So the answer for this is option A, clownfish. Right. These are. Yes. They are not a very good swimmers. Okay. Okay, children. So now we will. move on to our craft and what we are going to make today shall i show you yes so since we have seen lot of animals in the fish so let's make lot of animals in the sea so let's make a wiggly wiggly fishy yes what do you say isn't it cute and it really wants to come and meet you and talk to you yeah okay so for this we'll go to the workstation and we will see the requirements and we will make it and then we are going to play with it yes okay so let's go to the workstation and see its requirements so for this 
we need any colored paper right so i am taking like this so two square sheets and then some more for other parts of the fish right and then we need a scissor and we need a glue also and marker to make the eyes and we can take a little bit of white paper also for making the eye and for like moving it you can use some stick like the skewer stick you can use a paint brush a stick to or an ice cream stick okay so any kind of a round stick which we can put inside it so that it keeps on yes wiggly wiggly right okay so let's start making it so just let's keep uh, and be very careful while handling uh, the scissors okay children so see first of all these are our two sheets and we will keep it like this in a diamond form right okay and see my one side is black and my another sorry one side is colored and another is white so i will put them like this okay so that my both sides are colored okay so i will put them this way if you don't have two sheets uh, then maybe you can take little bit smaller also right from this only yes so make them into four equal parts and then also you can do okay so this way we are going to keep it and we are going to paste it from the edges only right not from the middle but before doing that what we will add we will add the fins here and we will add its tail here okay so for that see here i need triangle so let me cut a triangle okay so how can i draw a triangle is just take a sheet and fold it like this right or any square take a square and fold it like this okay so this i got a triangle and this also i will get a triangle right or if you want to draw it we can draw it also so approximately we need double of it na two yes so if you have a rectangle then mark the middle here and just okay this way so we will cut two triangles together yes i have folded the sheet so that i will get the two triangles so be very careful children take uh, use only safety scissors if you are doing it yourself or take the help of your elders for cutting right you can make your fins little bit curvy also if you want okay if you don't want a triangle you want little bit curvy you can do that way also right it's entirely up to us and even for the color of the sheet also it's your choice okay so these are my two triangles so for its tail so see it will go like this right so now only this is left so for this we can draw a circle we will draw a semi circle okay see so any strip we will take and we will draw a semi circle and we will break it into two all right so let's just cut the semi circle
so always children draw on this blank side if you are using origami papers yes you can use a plain white sheet also if you don't have a colored sheet you can color it later and uh, you can even make more scales on it if you want later on rest so see if this is the same so, so we will make it half so as to get see this is my semi circle see this is my semi circle so i have folded into half this way okay and i will cut it from the middle right so this is i have got and i am going to see this is my sleeping line so one will go along this and one will go along this straight line okay so this way also so it has this straight line this straight line so it will go inside so again we i have to align it right okay then we can cut here so let's make it something with pencil a sort of a v yes for its open mouth so let's make a v right we will cut it later so now we can start pasting it but see there has to be some precaution that we have to take okay so first of all i am telling you we are going to only glue uh, the corners okay we will put the glue only at corners not at the middle because see in the middle we have to make these this pattern right so if we will paste it then this will not be possible right and we will put our stake i will just tell you we will put our stake something like here at the beginning okay so this is my tip so i'll put it something like this so that i can do ah, i can wiggle it yes this way okay so i can paste i will paste here also inside so let's open it and let's paste it first okay so let's apply the glue everybody has done cutting yes is done with their cutting part and uh, see so these are my triangles so these two triangles also let's apply some glue on them also so that they will get stick together and then paste them here right and similarly for this also little bit up and here also right and now see for the stake we will put a glue so here we will be little bit generous in putting the glue so that it sticks well right and little bit over it also okay so let me put this okay fine let me put this pointed um, inside if you are using like toothpick and making a little bit smaller one so you can also take the pointed thing inside right so that it won't hurt you or you can take a straw also you can make a paper straw also right and then we are going to nicely we are going to paste one over the other right so be very careful while doing it and then 
we can make a cut and also with the white paper we can make its eye also right so for making a circle like a little small circle you can use the cap of your fevicol bottle yes or of or of sorry of your sketch pen cap of your sketch pen to draw a little circle for the eye okay so let's draw cut a circle okay so be very be uh, be very careful children while using the scissors and on only use safety scissors and you know using otherwise the using of safety scissors uh, is recommended at this age because it actually uh, yes it strengthens your finger muscles yes and it brings uh, very uh, yes lot of precision in writing okay that way also it's very helpful so this is the eye we are going to paste here and then we can put a we can soft make a uh, we, with the black okay so let's just cut this also okay a mouth right so you must be thinking now let's put that i done Hmm. Now that it looks as if the life has come. <laughs> Great. Okay. So if you want, you can make some patterns here on the fins or here, right? And see now that cut part. How we are going to do is see this is our fish. So we will fold it into half. So how we will find half? This corner and this corner. See. okay so only in the middle we will hold it like this right and leaving some distance from here we will so like we will cut in a triangle form right okay let's complete all of you hmm. okay yes to just, just paste the stick also right so see this is my standing line here so i will make one line okay let's let's do it on the back side since this is my eye okay so uh, let us do it on this side on the back side of my fish so that even if some marks are there so again i fold it in the half and uh, see so this is my stick so little bit away from it i'll draw a standing line right and here along this line i will draw a slant line okay and then at some distances i will make the lines you can use a ruler also so just we need it is not uh, no need to be straight lines okay it is okay if it is something wavy also okay uh, it is not visible so i will show it to you with the marker so see something like this and then like this okay then after some distance we will make lines so these are just reference lines for our cutting purpose right okay so we will cut along these standing lines and up till this okay so i will show you just see here first and then you can do hmm 
So it'll be a little bit thick, so it'll need more force. See? Okay. So that's why I have done on the back side, children. Right? So let me show you once how it looks like. Something like this. See, this is my front, and I got these cuts here, but on the back side, I have done all my markings, right? So that my from front, my fish will look nice only. So we will cut only up till this line that we have made. Okay. And once this is done, our fish is ready. I have done a little bit more also, right? See. So let's open them up. Yes, you can crease them in the opposite direction so that it will open up. See? Like this. Okay? So you can crease them in the opposite direction. Take. Yes, slowly, slowly you can do. Once it is done, I'm just showing you how to do it. Yes, so nicely cut it, children. Or take the help of the uh, elders if you feel that it is a little bit tough because it will be like four layers of the paper to cut. So, a little bit tough it will be. Yes, you will need more force to pressure to cut it. Yes, so we are folding it upper one. Like this, so that it will give uh, see. Okay, so like this, a cavity sort of thing will should come so that we have uh, move. Oh yes, we have folded them in the opposite direction, right? So see, so keep your scissors at the safe place. Yes, back to it. And let's come to the main screen and see. See, so this is what Wiggly Wiggly are. Fishy is ready to play with you. Isn't it? Yes. Okay, that's great. And can you show me your work, children? Oh, wow, that's nice. Okay, the beautiful colors everyone has taken. And that's great. Okay, another different color. Nice, again, nice. Right, so what you have to do is once you are finished doing all of these mini, mini, Yes, your own, with your own imagination, with your own creativity, you have to click the picture and post it on Yellow Class Portal, right? On the feed option, or you can also post on our, yes, the social media platforms also and tag the Yellow Class Group, right? And I'll be waiting for your pictures, so don't forget to do that, right? Okay, give a thumbs up for that then. Hmm, if you're going to do it. Okay. So I want thumbs up from all of you. Few of you are busy in doing your work, right? Okay, that's great. So now the time for yellow class tip of the day. So today's tip is dive into the reading. Dive into reading a good book today. Yes. So just once you finish it or just maybe before going to bed or any time, which is your favorite time. Yes. So dive into and into reading a nice story book. Okay. Great. Because reading is a very, very good habit that we should all should have. Okay, children. So you can keep enjoying and can continue playing with your fishy. Yes. And 
we will meet in the next session again take care and bye bye